Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Tuscan Trade Terror for Europa Universalis 4. Just loaded into the game, so we'll probably see some coalition changes and stuff. We have a whole bunch of diplomats available, and I was looking at this earlier. We actually have about 200 additional force limit for, for navies, and we're at the last ship available, so we might as well make some. And I think what I'm going to do is just make... Let's see, they take how long to build? 120, yeah, so if I just build like three per province over here, we can probably knock out. We can get basically all this done within one year. Roughly. And then I think what I'll do is after we get these extra 200 ships, which are worth 700 trade power, by the way, before modifiers. We will then, after that, bring back all the ships to Roma and combine them up and decide where to send them from there based on provincial trade power, you know? I have a feeling that it's not really optimized right now. And I'm not worrying about the the shipyards that we have here. It'd probably be better, maybe, to just have all of them built out of here to keep maintenance costs down, but the extra couple of years, well, it'd probably take 10 years to build 200 ships. Oh, we could do the math. If it takes a year to make three, it would take, yeah, 66 years to build them all out of those three provinces, so the game would be over by then. Almost. Hmm, 282, that's too slow. Okay, we're up to 177. Won't be long now. And then it's going to be a period of great peace. Be heralded around the world. The time when Italy didn't attack. Oh, we're at 207. Okay, whatever. That's fine. I can worry about making it exactly the force limit. So we got the stability focus on for our religion. We've got 60% uh, <clears throat> overextension. And I noticed that um, in the coalition... I mean, most people are in the coalition, except for like Ethiopia, Songhai, Mali, Russia, and people. You know, they're people that I want to attack. So, like Ethiopia, do we have a truce with you? We don't. And I know we have a lot of men down here. Oh no, we do have a truce with you. I'm sorry, we do. We don't have a truce with Russia though. But they're allied with France, so. Hey, cores, good. Rations of alcohol and the miserable conditions surrounding our canal project in Dumyat left, left the workforce depressed and unmotivated. Spent 4,000 ducats to make it happen earlier. You know, I've actually seen this event before, and what happens is it it just backfires on you, and then you have to retract it, and you actually end up losing the same amount of time. You get 100 days faster, and then you get a bad event that you have to do that's another 200 days, so it ends up slowing you down by 100. Which is better, I guess, than slowing down by 200, but it costs 4,000 ducats to... Nah, whatever. I'm just probably just going to take all of the events that just let it take longer. I'm just not going to get my hopes up. It's going to take for freaking ever, is what it's going to do. Now, I think we're at four out of five generals. Let's hope we get lucky. Four, four, six, two. Not bad. And, uh... You know what we could do? I mean, I really want to I want to protect as many provinces as possible to keep revolt risk down. But one one of these things is just not strong enough, so I will I guess I'm going to put together a, a 40 stack. And just put them on autonomous suppression. Now, the only issue with that is that they will travel anywhere in the entire country. So Brunei has just apparently taken some land near us. Yeah, 
Rooney. So they'll travel anywhere, you know, which which could cause problems. Oh, damn. Oh, come on. The questionable rule of Benedotto I, the population's a strive for liberty, and the desire for enactment of enlightened ideals has spurred a revolution. That seems all but unavoidable. The common people has united and taken to arms in an attempt to topple the government and thereby initiating one of the bloodiest revolutions of our time. 79 revolutionaries rise up in Roma, and we lose 6 stability. Where's Ankara? Okay. Well, let's just do what happens. Italian revolutionaries. That's the same as these guys, right? So maybe it's because I let them live that they are are doing that. It's mostly nationalist rebels that we have. And again, I guess it is the same. I mean, is this really that bad? We lose three stability, which sucks a lot, but overthrow the government. I mean, maybe we do just... I kind of... I don't mind the idea of becoming a, a republic. I want that. But it's going to be pretty tricky to deal with all of the uh, revolt risk in the new in the new provinces because of the negative six stability. Is there any... Do you mean, should I buy back stability? Or should I just let... Let's just let it happen. Whatever badness happens from this... Oh, wow. Oh, I thought he had four siege value. Revolt, 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 revolt. We've lost the siege of Merv. I guess we cancel the ships here. And Chiquitos has finally surrendered, or finally succeeded. They were the Portuguese patriots. We will accept your demands, Portuguese patriots. And then, uh, can we sell this to you, finally? Maybe. Or are you still overextended? <laughs> well, I guess we wait. No, we we just send the just just spend it. I'll end up sending it, selling it to them anyway or something. But I have a feeling these re rebellions are going to be pretty pretty serious. We do the same thing over here. We'll have two two stacks of forty on suppression duty. Russia's just declared war on Korea. We have won a siege there. Nationalist, nationalist, patriot. More nationalists. We're full maintenance, right? Okay. Okay, suppress your bolts. Maybe I should even do three. Alright, so you're there. You are here and on suppression. You are on suppression. You... I think we're going to send to the new areas. Like here. Put you in charge of... One of these guys. As soon as you get your 40. Put you on suppression as well. Make my life a little bit easier. Resettlement. Lombard Indonesia Company wants to drive out the local population. Yeah. Sure. Berber patriots, nationalists. Okay. And a slew of coring. So our revolt risk should be going down. Although the stability... 
Qatar is being sieged. The Hansa has rivaled us. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Gain 40,000 manpower. Very nice. That army is really weak. How are we doing on the ship front? We've got 125 still being produced. Okay, they're about to take our capital. We breached the walls. Man, I'm gonna let it happen. Uh, 24, it's a nationalist rebellion in Lagwat. It's irritating. We've lost the siege to our capital. Now, are they actually going to make progress? Italian revolutionaries. They are 0.2% towards enforcing their demands. 24 months. Awesome. What happens when we lose? The government type just changes to Noble Republic. Catholic becomes the new state religion of Italy. Hmm. That's not exactly what I had in mind. Well, that's if they overthrow us. We'll wait till they, um... Oh, no, no, we, we can't... Again, it does that thing where it shows... Well, what if you accept demands? But you can never negotiate with them, so it shouldn't even be there. I don't really want to become Catholic. But I do... Like, my desire to become a Republic again is... Higher than my desire to stay reformed. Besides, we've got the uh, the religious religious idea group. We need to convert everything back. We could. We're gonna have huge religious turmoil if we if if we go to Catholic. We could switch to a republic and then just fail to defend against a Protestant or uh, sorry a reformed revolution. That's the plan. I just can't seem to appoint enough rebel suppression teams. I'm starting to think that the suppression's probably a better approach than trying to sit 20 stacks on every army, or on every province, because... This are gonna rebel even with the 20 stacks there. And the 20 stacks... There's not enough. Alright, so you guys are, uh... Trying to defect the Timurids. Overthrow the government's only 20 months away. You know, if they siege more land, like that one, then it'll happen pretty quick. Good. Okay. I'm fine with that. I mean, we're already, uh, 20 more revolutionaries rise up in Medina, or we can lose 7,000 ducats. Nope. Oh, um. Palace coup. Father, he says, his sword pointing at you. Your rule has brought this nation to the brink of destruction and shame to our family. He looks nervously at his co-conspirators. An otherworldly sense of fatigue washes over you. Betrayal in your own midst. Italy gets ruler considered illegitimate until five years from now. Reducing our revolt, our uh, national legitimacy, and our increasing our revolt risk. Our current guy would die, which would normally cause you to lose stability, but won't in this case. We'd get a 253. Or we can kill our heir. I think we just kill the heir. Well, a little runt. Stupid kid. He deserved it. He was asking for it. 40 more boats on the way. We've lost the Siege of Figwig. Okay. Italian revolutionaries are at 20%, 19 months. 
Probably need to go deal with the Uzbek Patriots. They've got Urgench. And I don't think I have any... I think we'll just accept their demands. I mean, we already have negative three stability. What's what's the reason for trying to keep positive prestige, right? Sure, I have armies there, but I don't want to deal with them. Lana. This army's right here. It's on suppression. The Emperor's dead. Oh, hey! We've been re-elected. We still had an heir. It's just a different one. Can't lose stability when you're already at negative three. So we're still the uh, the thing. You're gonna go deal with the rebels before taking Chiang Mai back. Why don't we just assault it real quick? Wow, six six zero, not bad. Okay, now what? So meanwhile, we're you know have a revolution while we're trying to fight off. Or we're we're gonna try to build the canal while having a revolution. It's cool. It is nothing to be concerned about. <laughs> Corsica. Just kidding. Oh wait, Corsica's not there, is it? I'm I'm going crazy. Where's Corsica? Ah, it's here. Yep. Russia's insulted us. Okay, we're losing money each month now. Eighty ducats a month due to. Uh, now we're over the force limit somehow. How did I go over the force limit? I guess maybe I did that intentionally or something. I don't remember. Okay, well, things are uh, getting interesting. I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.